Hello and welcome to 1806. If you're new to the channel, my family and I bought this old stone house about three years ago now, and we've been renovating it week to week, paycheck to paycheck, and learning as we go. Definitely made some mistakes, but no one has been seriously injured, and we're still happily married. Currently, I'm working in the downstairs bathroom. It's one of three bathrooms that the house will have. So if our channel is something that you think you might enjoy, hit the subscribe button and start watching. I don't know how you found us, but I'm glad you did. Now let's get to this week's episode. Today's the day. I've been thinking about it for a while. If we went strictly on the votes of everybody, I didn't tally the votes, but you know, I, I, rate, I read all my comments. And I think what it turned out to be about probably 85% of people to 80% of people liked vertical. The main reason I want to go vertical, well, you know what? The main reason I want to go vertical is I just like the way vertical looks a little bit better than horizontal. But then there are some other reasons to that which help me make up my mind. As you can see, if I go vertical, I'm, I will have to cut the tiles down a little bit just to get them a little lower because I don't want the tile to interfere with my switches, the hickory baseboard molding goes on the bottom. It actually covers up the bottom tile by about an inch. So that's gonna help hold the bottom into place. And then my chair rail will actually be secured to the wall. And um, that's gonna help hold the top into place. Almost two mechanical fasteners holding each tile into place. I like that idea a lot. The issue with going long vertical cuts is I didn't know the saw you know naturally is down like this so I was like oh man how do you you can't cut these and a subscriber actually told me all you do is you release the saw head so it can come up and then you can get the big tile in there and it, I mean this is not going to be easy by any means but you get it where you want it and then you turn your saw on and you plunge into the tile and then once you're plunged, then you slide the tile through. Uh, the other thing that's going to be very difficult to do is like, for instance, this first tile that goes on, I think I'm going to have to cut a perfect square right out of the tile, which I have the proper bits and everything to do that. I just don't know how easy it is going to be to do. I guess you could call it some experimentation here this morning. And I got to get going. I got to get going so I can... This is going to take a while. This... Do it night, erase my wounds, and then again I write. Ooh, 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 ooh. Drop by drop by drop, drop, drop. I feel the pool, and I'm ready to dive. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stand behind the curtains, I try to get a surf.
I have accomplished it's in there ideally perfect I have the same amount of gap on the wall here as up here and it's completely level that was one of the main cuts that I was worried about is going around a box so that last cut just took me an hour straighten this out a bit huh now the next one I need to cut is this corner here where the tile goes right through here and then it's gonna be cut at a 45 and then this one over here will also be cut at a 45 this tile is only finished and and has this paint fill on one side I can't just put a piece like this and then overlap like this because you would see you would see this end and that ends pretty ugly we'll cut it to 33 first and then we'll do the rip try to figure out a way to get these to sit up here and then you know, not fall obviously I think that's pretty good now that I've got my hard cuts done as far as knowing that I can do a light socket and knowing that I can do that 45 I'm just gonna work my way now and do this wall I'd like to take some time and explain why Sarah and I choose to use salvage materials as much as we can versus buying new. Now we do believe that there's a time and a place where you must buy new material. It's much easier and you can achieve the exact look you're trying to. But for us, the end result is not always dependent upon the appearance, but more of a feeling. We're very passionate about this house and its age. It's seen so much over the last 200 years. We want the house when we're done to feel a certain way. And we believe by adding select salvage materials, we can achieve that. You see, the salvage materials not only look good, but they tell a story in most cases. This marble, for instance, this was salvaged from a very old church in Champlain, New York. 
I remember when we found it for sale on Craigslist and how excited we were. I took the day off work, we drove all the way there, loaded up the trailer, hauled it back, and I remember unloading it in the barn so late at night and we were talking to each other. We didn't even know where or if we were going to be able to use it in the house, but we knew that the material was special and extremely unique, and that's the exact type of material we're looking for. Now we don't expect everybody to fully understand why we're so adamant about using old materials. It's a very hard thing to explain, but when we're done and we're walking through the house, we want to see and feel the history. We want to be able to remember the stories that the materials tell. And I do believe that it's through these materials and stories that Sarah and I will be remembered. That you making me giving away to sun's light I've cut a lot of my hard pieces. After this, I'll have one more short one to go around the window and then I'll just be doing big pieces. Boom, 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 all the way to there. It should come together pretty quick tomorrow. But that's it for today. I'm tired. Very tired. I don't know. What do you think? I know some of you are gonna be somewhat disappointed because we went with vertical. I hope that my explanation in the beginning of the video makes sense on, on why we went vertical. But thank you everyone for voting and letting me know. Some of your reasonings and, and what you thought really did help us make up our minds. So I really do appreciate that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get going. I'll see y'all tomorrow. It won't, won't seem like any time has passed to you, but to me, a whole day. <laughs> see ya. I watch you bow your head each day It's the little things that make you feel this way Don't let their words fill you up with doubt Lift your head and watch your dreams branch out don't you give up Chica
This is the dot and dab method, the way they did it. You can see they just clumped thin set in a couple spots. I love the writing, you know, mm -hmm. like 111, but see how they did their ones? Mm -hmm. Last piece. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna peek through here. <laughs> Seems good. So far, so good. Well, tight. I don't know. Doesn't seem to wanna. Sit flat right there for some reason. Like an, oh, there it goes. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's the tile. I feel like we bought the house so we could use the marble. <laughs> it could be. It wouldn't be far from the, far from the truth. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this weekend and I gotta say I would have liked to get the tile completely done but just getting it all cut and up in the one weekend is pretty good. I'm happy that we went vertical. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry all horizontal people. Yep. I, I said that about 85% of people wanted vertical uh, but we wanted vertical. I think once we saw both ways. I didn't ways, care either way, honestly. Yeah. I definitely had a preference. I feel like vertical just flows better. Well, that's where I think horizontal just flows better. <laughs> so you can clearly see that we still don't know if we made the right decision. Uh, I like it. I like how it is. Why do you always try to high five me? Because I'm a high fiver. I don't know. Are you? Yeah. Um, if you liked the video, please remember to hit the thumbs up and drop a comment. We're noticing videos that get more comments get uh, pushed more by the YouTube algorithm. I hate saying that even, but it's true. <laughs> so if you're watching the video, this is the end. This is the yappy yap part. If you're watching it, you must like it. So leave a couple comments. Leave, like say you're going to leave a comment of, I really like the tile. Leave that many comments. I really <laughs> like the tile. Leave five comments. I really like the tile. We're super grateful for anybody who watches the video, especially this last stuff. I'm going to start putting in more of this sort of thing at the very end of the video because I know there's a certain amount of people that like to hear us. I don't know why, but you do. <laughs> okay, so let's go get our kids because they're probably, they probably got Gigi and Papa strung up. <laughs> Yeah, with Christmas lights. Sarah was upstairs cleaning the whole time I was doing this tile, so I will show you after we say goodbye <laughs> what she did. Well, you didn't see the before. It was a carpet of toys. Yeah, it, it was a mess. Didn't clean in there. Oh, you cleaned in here. So she cleaned. Did you clean that by hand? And Only halfway. Uh, it probably needs another. 
It's a lot cleaner in here. Where'd you put all the toys? They're in the bathtub. Oh. Yep. Anybody new, this is Lily's room. We did it a while ago, actually. It's kind of weird being up here because it's so much more done than... Yeah. This is where they like to hang out. Yeah, they, they play, like, in the closets. If you don't know where they are, you go and they're always in a closet. Sometimes they're in Jason's closet, which his is a lot smaller. Uh-huh. It's nice and clean in here, though. All right, we're going to get going. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, you guys really motivate me. Thank you. And I guess I'll just see you next time I turn the camera on. Have a good week. See how I do it like they're a human? Now you try. Just pretend it's a person. Pretend that's Don from Canada. He lives in Ontario. Don's standing there, and this is hey, awkward because we're sitting on the floor. <laughs> but just pretend that that's Don and say, thanks for watching, Don. We'll see you later. That's Don. Hey, Don. <laughs> Don, your legs are really skinny. You said it. No, say it. Say it, Don. Say bye. I want you to say goodbye. But I don't just, do it the way you like it. Just do it. Just That's a person. They're watching us. <laughs> Just say goodbye. Thanks for watching. You can do this. <laughs> you can do it. Thanks for watching. Hold you on. Just... I, I, know. I, know this is <laughs> I think it was my shoe. I am done. It was my shoe. No. It did. It squeaked right there. <laughs> I can't get it to do it again. Will you say goodbye, please? Thanks for watching. We will see you next time we turn the camera on. Try. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. You have to do it again because I was talking. Thanks for watching. I can't do <laughs> I'm like I'm like Barack Obama. There's a pause. You're nothing between... like Barack Obama. Will you please? There's a pause. That's how I talk. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time we turn the camera on. Bye. <laughs> I stole the DIY difference finishing line. <laughs>